Yes, welcome back guys. As you read from the title, we're going to be answering the golden question of when to buy and sell in Forex trading. Now this is the golden question that a lot of hedge funds and banks and us retail traders are trying to figure out day in and day out, putting in a lot of time and effort and research to hit that profitability. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing the buy, high, buy low and sell high principle and what that really means in the live markets. Now the strategy that I will be showing you, the step-by-step -step guide, be sure to back test it and do your own research before um, delving into the markets with your own capital. Now very quickly, yeah, I have changed up the, um, the positioning of my camera. I've invested in some new lighting as well. And the only last step is to add some more posters um, trading related at, in the background right over there. So drop it in the comment section below what things you think I should be adding to the background and yeah, time to take this YouTube thing a bit more seriously. Right, so jumping onto the charts, we're gonna be going over my favorite pair, which is GBP USD. And we're ultimately trying to answer the question of when we should be buying and selling in Forex trading. Now to answer this question, we need to first answer two sub questions beneath it. These are basically two principles we need to understand before we can ultimately get to where we want to be. So the first question we wanna to look to answer is identifying when and how we can identify the direction and how we can identify the significant level. So the first thing is identifying the significant level. Now we do hear um, this saying of buying low and selling high. Now the first principle I really want to clear is the fact that this is all relative. We can say, now looking at hindsight that this is the highest point price came to so since it is at the high we want to sell high and then buy low however if you then look at it from a bigger picture this is no longer the highest point rather you can classify this as being the highest point so this is all relative we can only say that this is the highest point relative to the current and most recent price action that we have seen and and similarly we would look to buy low because relatively this is at a very low point but if we was to again zoom back out this is no longer the lowest point rather we have further lower points here and so on and so forth so how do we then go about identifying the direction identifying the direction in other words just means are we looking for buyers or are we looking for sales now to answer this question we need to look at structure Structure is king when it comes to the chart and technical analysis. Now, what does structure mean? Simply, currently price action is forming lower lows and lower high points. Now, at this point, now this is our level of supply. You can see once price did tap back into this level, we then saw a nice push down. This is a perfect and prime example of selling high. Now, once when there is a lot of supply of something ultimately the price will fall back down now in terms of answering the question number two which is identifying the significant level these are basically your levels of supply and demand which we have highlighted right over here so since we are in a nice downtrend we want to highlight our level of supplies at which price is um, too overly supplied and so we will see a nice push down similarly when there is a huge demand in something we then expect the price of that product or service to push back up. So similarly in Forex trading, once price does come back into a region of demand, we expect a push back up, increasing the price of that currency. Now to give you another example on gold, I'm going to, I'm going to give you a bullish example of where you should be buying. Now you do see that price is currently in a downtrend on gold. However, at this point right over here, if I use this gray box to highlight this level of supply, you can see at this point we would ideally expect price to push back down because the price of gold is now too expensive and so we want to see a drop. However, at this point, um, people were still willing to buy the um, to buy gold even though the price was around 1828 and people continue to buy and break through this level of supply. What this basically means is this price is still considered at a discounted rate to everyone that's still willing to purchase to purchase gold at this price. So once we get that, we then shift our bias to being bullish as we have broken through the, these high points over here. So what we then see is price seeing a nice push up followed by a retracement. Now, as I said in the previous example, price is relative. If we drop down to the 30 minute time frame, you can see the structure 
right over here is our most recent level of demand. This level of demand, once highlighted using the gray box again, you can see once price did tap back into this level, at this point, everyone considered gold to be at a very discounted price and were willing to buy um, a lot of gold pushing the price back up. So relatively, this is a very low area to be buying. So you're buying low at this point, and so you see that nice push up. So, so in summary, if we come back over to our notes over here, just to give you a quick summary, when you're identifying the direction, you want to be looking at structure, and when you're identifying the significant level, you want to be looking for areas of supply and demand. And this will then answer the question of when exactly you should be buying and selling in Forex trading. Now, this was just a quick overview of exactly how I would break down the charts and how I would answer this golden question, which everyone has been after. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to um, like the video, comment any further video ideas you may have, and also be sure to subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time.